Calacanos loves her native Long Island. And whether it's music, craft, dance, or poetry, she uses every mode of artistic expression that she can to show her admiration. Oh, Long Island, many wonders, steeped, enriched in history. Colonial slave plantation rooms, still numerous to see. Columbus also left this monument on the hills of Seymour's, naming the island Ferdinandina as he left these crystal shores. Oh, Long Island of many wonders. The bottomless fresh water fountain still mystifies men. Blue holes, caverns, water to land tunnels, discoveries without end. In addition to her love for Bahamian culture, Pelicano says that she has a great love of Bahamian history. What makes her such a valuable asset is that she tries to pass all her knowledge on to the children. Culture will never run out of Long Island because it's what we grew off. Today we use fertil now I use 496 fertilizer, but as a child coming up, the only thing I know my grandfather did was um, when he finished with the ashes in the fire half, we threw them around the fruit trees and we had fruit all year, natural growth. So what we had, we used. And like I showed uh, uh, one of the tourists, the black pot that is on the fire, the same thing that put it there, instead of buying Ajax from the, from the store, you take the ashes with the scrub and you bring it shinier than that. God placed everything within a culture for us to use. Pelicano says that there are 14 slave plantations on the island of Long Island and says that we need to make sure that tourists at least have access to enjoy our rich cultural heritage. For the Tourism Today Network, I'm Gina Seeley.